Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. It's nice to see you. Yes it is. Okay, so we are finished with the den and now we're gonna go approximately, well, east, to say the least, to a nice little farming town known by the name of Modoc. Now as I have to finish with this little random counter and make sure Vic doesn't die from stupidity uh, I'm gonna have to wait a little so there we have good old Sulek killing people as usual okay Vic is definitely gonna die in the second if he gets hit once more he's gonna die a very painful death Okay, so Jesus Christ, good. No, bulbs. Okay, wow, and what do you know? My feet really itch according to the HUD. Oh, you stupid bastard. You just had to meddle with these very weak robbers, but god damn it. Come on, come on. Oh, what? Why can't I go there? Seriously. Why? Oh, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Oh, goody. <sighs> Maybe I should definitely increase my outdoorsman skill right now. Oh, bloody balls seriously are you kidding me what the hell is this yeah you run away bitch okay good now that I'm out of here I can finally go to Modoc oh and what do you know it's midnight okay so first things first I'm gonna say a little about this town it's basically a farming village and that's about it. Now, uh, sorry to all the viewers about my problems with the LPs and stuff and all of those updates. I've never done three updates in a row, nor two updates in a row, I don't think. And I've been having quite a bit of problems with my microphone lately, so I think I'm going to have to buy a new microphone as at times it screws up and then starts screwing up the entire headset by causing static so yeah depending on how it goes uh, I might have to buy a new microphone slash headset and yeah and also in three days uh, school finishes so I'll have two whole weeks to make a ton of videos which is gonna be fun alright so let's talk to this guy the owner of the general store Alright, let's ask him about the Gek and he'll tell you that the only way you get information about the Gek is by helping him up with something. So he'll tell you that there is an area uh, just outside of Modoc and it's a farm and no one ever lives there apparently or goes there. However, there's always new fruit and food growing there. So he sent one of his friends, Carl, instead of himself, little pussy, to go over there and explore the area. And Carl has never come back. Mysterious. So we are gonna go to the ghost farm and see what's gonna go down there. Now, at first sight, it looks pretty fucked up, like some. Oh god, damn it. <sighs> okay, good. Oh, Jesus, not midnight. Okay, so... God damn, look at what's happening here. Now, at closer examination, however, you'll see that these bodies are fake. They are dummies covered in Brahman innards, which is excrement. So, uh, much more extreme... Uh, much more extreme... Two girls, one cup fetish going on here, but let's continue on and oh my god, there's white people. Very white people. Nazis. Okay, let's talk to them. Oh wow, you can't even talk to them. Amazing. 
So let's just head on here and oh god damn it, you just fell through a bloody hole. Now, not much else is here except two guards. So let's talk to them. And they'll tell you to speak to the leader, which is Vegir. Okay, anyways. I'd like to ask you some questions, but they won't accept, so you have to talk to Vegir. Vegir. Wow. I can't even pronounce his name. I don't think anyone can. Okay. What do you want with me? He has a simple favor for you to do. Go to Modok and give him this letter. Okay, not very difficult, but let's go here. Get out of this uh, underground village, which is similar to the uh, time traveling movie uh, in which the Murlocs in the post apocalyptic future feast on the ground dwelling Eloy. So, I think that's where Modok has got its ins inspiration from. But yeah, alright, let's go to Modoc and talk to the general store owner, which is probably the actual leader of the area. So, give him the message and tell him that the bodies are fake. And then he'll tell you to find out where Carl is. Now, Carl is not actually dead. He is found in a different area and wait a second I'm actually gonna have to do this a bit differently I'm not gonna save that way I'm gonna have to quick save all right so Carl is found I'm just gonna go to the ghost farm in the den but I think the only way to trigger that uh, dialogue option with Carl in the den is by actually talking to Vegir, oh god, his name is retarded. And after talking to him, you actually talk to Carl, then talk to Joe. I'm pretty sure I'm not exactly 100% certain about this uh, quest, seeing as I played this game quite a few months ago. Okay. Now, he tells you that he went to the west, which is immediately west, which is actually the den. So go there, and stand by music. Alright, so, to find Carl, what you need to do is, go to Mum's Diner, which is immediately right next to the spawn point of uh, East Tide. So, talk to this guy, and... Give him $25. Now, ask him a... Oh, actually, not ask him anything yet. Um, ask him about his story. Okay. So, he just keeps saying all of this bullcrap. It's quite a long story. But he keeps talking about some ghost farm. So, yep. You can no longer talk to him. And now let's go back to Modoc And... Pretty much complete the quest. It's not a very difficult thing to do, as you can see. However, if you screw it up once, uh, if you go back to like the den and then Modok and then the den, that will be more than 31 days ago. Uh, what will happen is the townspeople of Modok will actually attack the the slags and all shit breaks loose and it's actually kind of devastating seeing as they actually killed children and women. Bad idea. Alright, so let's talk to Joe. Okay, now. Tell him about the drunk card. Goody. And that's pretty much that. I think uh, we have to go back to the den, but I'm first going to go to the ghost farm. So go to the ghost farm, and the reason I'm going to go back to the den is because I think you have to talk to Colin. He is going to go back to this area, so that's good. Not this area, this area, but actually, what do you, what do you call it? 
Modok, that's the one. Okay. Now he's going to give you an assault rifle, and he'll tell you that uh, everything's good now. Trade will go back to Modok between the ghost farm and the people of Modok. And now I'm just going to go back to what's the area called? God damn, I forget what's the name of the area. Oh boy, this terminology of Fallout is kind of confusing. But let's go to the den. Now, I'm going to finish up the episode... Uh... Oh wait, there's one more area, I forgot. I forgot uh, that Modoc was composed of two areas, but I always thought it was one, seeing as it's a very small farming village. But yeah, let's talk to Carl, and tell Carl about what Joe said. And he can go home. And you gain 500 XP. And you can go back to Modoc. And I just forgot. Sorry, remembered. Wow. Bloody hell. <laughs> How does... Oh my god. I am very bad at English today. It's not even English, it's vocabulary. But yeah. There's one more quest here, and that involves going to the tannery. And talking to the man here. Now, talk to him. And he obviously has something wrong. And he'll tell you that his son is missing. And... Yeah. It's not a very difficult quest, uh, assuming you know where to look. But his son is with the slags, because... Uh, he was randomly exploring the ghost farm area and fell into a hole. Or something like that, I don't remember. But, yeah. That's pretty much that. And I also remembered another thing. I need some dynamite and... A rope. This is for another quest, but this is for the uh, northern half of Modoc. So yeah, let's just do that. <laughs>